What up, what up, fight fans? Welcome back again to another episode with the African Fighters. And on today's episode, we are going to be discussing something that is on the mind of everybody who follows African MMA. Yes, if you are in the African MMA space, you would have caught wave of something that has been going round, and that is what we are going to be breaking down. Yes, does Mark Home belong in the UFC? This is something that has been spoken about for a while and came up again very recently with another dominant performance in his welterweight title defense this Thursday against Peace Ungufane. Yes, Makome has put together back-to-back -to -back very impressive performances in the EFC, winning the welterweight title against Zico Makengele and defending this Thursday against Peace Ungufane in dominant fashion. So, the question is, how good is Mark Home? Now, as we like to do on the African Fighters, we like to be as objective as possible and give you a good insight as to what it is that we're talking about. Now, where will be the best place to start? You start his record. He is 4-1 in his last five fights, which will give you an indication just by merely looking at it that he is a man on fire. However, let's delve a little deeper into what this record says. I mean, a fighter is just as good as who he's fighting against, right? So, his title defense came against Peace Ungufane on Thursday. Beautiful, beautiful display by Mahome against the guy who has fought six professional fights, has lost two, and has won four of them before his fight against Mark Holm. So not a very experienced guy, right? Then you move to Erikin Damonov in the UAE Warriors, a guy who was on a five-fight win streak before he came across Mark Holm. These five fights came incredible promotions. I mean, it was in the UAE Warriors, it was in the Octagon, Brave FC, really interesting, really, really top quality fighter. I mean, the guy had not lost a fight since 2019. Up steps Mark Holm, defeats him in what was a pretty tight fight. He did win by unanimous decision in that fight, Mark Holm, but did lose a round and did just enough to take the third round to win that fight 2-1 to one on all the judges scorecard, a fight where he did not entirely dominate his opponent, but did manage to win. Then you go up to Zico Makengele. Zico is a guy who possesses a lot of power for the welterweight division. Not very lengthy, not very technical. I mean, they call him the gorilla for a reason. Zico Makengele is not someone you see winning a fight if it's technical, if it requires a variety of skill set. If it's a brawl, a straight fight, you would think Zico Makengele would excel. He did manage to defeat him and win the welterweight championship quite easily, as he was expected to. He's the one who has the jiu-jitsu background. He's the guy who is more well-rounded. And in actual fact, he was expected to win this fight quite easily. The last time, and that was how he came back to the EFC. Before the EFC, he fought twice in the ACA. The ACA, by the way, is Absolute Championship Ahmad. It's a Russian promotion. It's where Mahom was fighting before he returned to the EFC. The fight against Elder Kasparkov. Elder Kasparkov is predominantly known as a striker, a really technical counterpuncher. Mahom stepped into this fight with the size advantage, with the length advantage, with the jiu-jitsu advantage, and this was a fight that he lost convincingly. He did not win a single Single round in this fight. Hmm. That doesn't tell the full story, by the way, because in all three rounds, he was really close to slapping on a submission and ending the fight. Yes, there is no denying just how great of a jiu-jitsu specialist Mark Holm is. Really technical at what he does, understands the angles, understands what to do when defending, and when on the offensive in a grappling or a jiu-jitsu matchup. However, a lot has been made about how he's really great on the feet, he just doesn't have the chance to show it against these guys, and that's what a lot of people are saying. But if we go by what we've seen, Mahomes is not necessarily the best striker you're gonna see. Just how good are his striking skills? I mean, that's one aspect to look at. Now, this was in 2021. A lot has happened since 2021, this is 2023. He has become so much better, his skills have improved on the feet and on the ground. So let's not look too much at that. That's the last time Mahomes suffered a loss since 2015. All his wins before then came against fighters with losing records. I mean, Erkin Demonov has suffered back-to-back -back defeats since then. I mean, he took on Vadim Shabadaf, somebody who is 0-3 and three in the ACA. You do not want to read too much into that. It just shows that that guy is not a very good fighter. He took on Adam Townsend, who is on a 3-fight losing streak. Not very impressive, is that? He took on Murat Tyler Rukov, who is on a 3-fight losing streak. Not very impressive. So, again I ask. Just how good is Mark 
home. Personally, I think he's got amazing jujitsu. I think he's really, really good on the ground. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's a pretty lengthy wealth of weight, meaning he's going to have the reach advantage on most of the fights that he's going to be in in that weight class. However, the striking is questionable. He really likes to throw that calf kick with his lead leg. He has shown precise striking in some moments and in other moments he's been caught. His takedown defense, however, is something that is really suspect and really a big question if you ask me. In many of these fights, I'm not entirely sure if it's because he's confident on the floor and that's why he doesn't mind going to the ground with it or if he just has bad takedown defense. So yes, Mahom is obviously a very talented fighter. However, does his skill set scream out only somebody in the UFC can defeat me? I am not entirely sure. So yes, it is an hype train. It is a movement. Does he deserve to be in the UFC? Yes, he does. However, I think there are a lot of holes in his game right now that need to be fixed before being thrown into the deep water that is the UFC. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let us know what you think about Mark Holm and his skill set. How do you think he's going to fare in the UFC? Leave your comments in the comment section. We will see you in another episode. Bye for now. Come on, Africans! Ah,